Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Madden 21 Top whoop, 10 Plays whoop, of the Week. Deontay Johnson shredding that Packers defense like cheese on his way to the end zone. As we go to play number 9, Odell Beckham Jr. down by double digits. Just trying to do anything to give his team some positive momentum. How about an electric punt return? Just what the doctor ordered. Odell splits the seas and will go all the way. If you guys want to have nice thick work like OBJ and everybody else on this countdown, you definitely want to get yourself a Scuff Gaming controller. The link to the Scuff Gaming store will be in the comment section below. And as always, you can use code COOKIEBOY for a discount. It'll make for a great Christmas present. Whoa, how about a present for the New Orleans Saints in the form of... Alvin Kamara on the game's final play. Kamara on the punt return will win the game. Unbelievable scenes as we go to play number seven. Let's get a crowd pleaser as... No, 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 don't throw it. Oh, absolutely baited. And Lamar trying to make up for his wrongs, trying to make the tackle. He thinks he does, but the ball is in the hands of Tredavious White. After the lateral, it's a touchdown for the Seahawks. As we go to our first honorable mention of the countdown, how about some redemption for Lamar Jackson, who, oh wow, is immediately in trouble, but it is Lamar Jackson. You can always turn a negative into a positive. He gets away from what? Over the Texans, into the end zone. Yeah, Lamar, that's what we call redemption. As we get back into the countdown, play number six, the rookie C.D. Lamb on the kick return, going outside. Oh, whoop to you, and hold on, hold on, a hey, whoop to the rest of you. C.D. goes all the way. If you guys want to submit your own play for a future episode of Madden 21 Top 10 Plays of the Week, the email is in the description below, and as always, Best quality is always appreciated, but not always necessary as we go to play number five. Whoa, Lamar looked like he was down and out, but whoop, he's able to find Mark Ingram. The Heisman package wows for Baltimore as we go to play number four, Hesitation Devastation. To make this countdown, you don't always have to hit a cool juke or spin or even a hurdle. Sometimes pure stick work can be appreciated like with Christian McCaffrey. Oh, no, no, no. He does it again. C-Mac, so sticky. It's icky if you're an Eagles fan, but it's magic if you're a Titans fan. As we go to our second honorable mention of the countdown, Drew Brees looking to find the end zone on third down. Just gets it off. Oh, no. Oh, yes. How about Jared Cook? Off the kick pass from Emmanuel Sanders. It wasn't done on purpose, but the Saints will take it as we go back into the countdown. It's play number three. It's lit in the going, and the 49ers are most likely taking this game to overtime. Unless, unless Raheem Moster is able to get up and go, go, go all the way. The 49ers win the game. The Colts. Yeah, can't be too happy about that one. They rage quit, and you can't even blame them for that. As we go to play number two, check out this wacky play. Josh Allen, simple duck down. Well, how about give it back to Josh Allen, and he's going to throw the ball downfield to Stefan Diggs. What in the world was that? I did not know that was possible to do in Madden. Hey, you come to Madden 21 Top 10 Plays of the Week, you'll learn something new. Try that one out at home. Oh, whoa, oh, Lamar Jackson. This is play number one. Whoop, for a reason. Whoop, with the game on the line. Lamar Jackson, can he go all the way? Look at him run. Gets away from Winfield. He's done it. Lamar Jackson, Captain Clutch, at your service. That was superb. That's a play that only Lamar Jackson can make. Absolutely stupid. Stunning! And now let the craziness continue as we go into the squad's top 10 plays of the week, starting off with the A train, deferring to the B train. That's off the head of the fullback, finding Reggie Bush on the kick return, and Reggie will go uncontested. The five, the end zone, the Seahawks score the touchdown. Not the way they intended, but they'll take it. As we go to play number nine, show me the money. With the game on the line, well, with the game on the line, Russell Wilson should be kneeling the ball. But he throws it up, and he's going to give Deion Sanders a chance to win the game. Come on now. How silly is that? You know what time it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, Russell Wilson trying to contest it? Nah, -uh. it's prime time. Dion gets the W as we go to play number eight. Ride him, cowboy. It's not Ezekiel Elliott, it's Derrick Henry, but it's ultimate team, so you'll take 
any running back in a Cowboys jersey doing good things, and that he does. Derrick Henry with some power and finesse. He'll find the end zone. We'll go to play number seven where it's time to go on a hill climb with Tyreek Hill. It's not all about speed sometimes. It's about that elusiveness that Tyreek Hill brings to the table. Uh, first things first, let's get this pass off. Holy shit, that was hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it is hot. Let's go! How about some backyard football theatrics on the final play of the first half as we go to play number six? It's a scary Mary as we're looking for Terry McLaurin on the final play. Dolphins just chuck it up. Just say a prayer. Oh, it is answered. There's McLaurin. Penalty on the Packers. So that's definitely a W. Decline that one and go home as we go to play number five. Well, this is one of these plays where if you lateral it a couple of times, you never know what can happen, right? So Byron Jones gets the interception, and now it's time to pass the peas and make some magic. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just worried. laughs> hey man, if you pull off a play like that, Celebrate all day, especially when you're up big like that. As we go into play number four, Tyreek Hill this time on the kick return outside. Gotta make something happen. He's gotta make a lot happen. And somehow, some way, he does. Tyreek flees the block, and you're not gonna catch him at this point. The 10, the 5. He'll burn some time. He'll score the touchdown. We will go to play number three, where it's time to steal the show. On the Hail Mary, Brett Favre from his own 13 yard line. He's got an arm, but. He's not going 87 yards. He's not even going about 50 yards. Instead, what he does do is find whoop, Deion Sanders. What time is it? Prime time to win the game once again. As we go to play number two, just going to check it down to Edger and James. Oh, my. Oh, my. James. Whoop. Whoop. Finessing the Cowboys. Oh, living life on the edge is Edgerin. That's a touchdown for sure. As we go to the number one play of the week, Reggie Bush in a Saints jersey on the punt return. Yeah, something special is about to happen. Reggie keeps his balance. Look at him moving. Oh, so smoothly. Whoop. Oh, yes. Reggie, do it to him. Do it to him, Reggie. Go all the way. Get yourself a touchdown in the number one play. That just looks fitting. That's just, I mean, it's Reggie Bush, man. You got to love to see it and everything else in this countdown for sure. So leave a like in this video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw today. Subscribe for more Men in 21 Top 10 and Not Top 10 Plays of the Week. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.